Hi guys, welcome back to Shemu 2. When we last left off, <gasps> I'd forgotten the controls. Okay. Oh no, okay. So, uh, right trigger is actually making us run. Excellent! Come on, Ryu, let's move. So yeah, last time we left off, some git stole our bag. What a knob end. Well, nothing we can do about that now. So here we are, finding ourselves on Queen Street. Okay, let's start exploring. Now we have to find one chai. Now those guys were kind of down here. Let's go see if we can find any evidence of their wrongdoings. Now you can run around and find out about this place, but as we kind of already know they're there, uh, I wonder if we can just skip to that, or do we have to talk about them? I'm not sure. I'm sure we can just drop in, though. And they should. Yeah, how strange. Maybe we do have to do a little bit of exploring. Nope, they're not here. Bastards. Bugger all there, in fact. Actually, I wonder if there's any little toys hidden or anything. There are a couple of places, actually, where there are those little capsule toys that you can find. It's not just at the beginning, but there's not many. Hmm, us. There's bugger all down there. In that case, let's start asking some questions. Come on, buddy. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. No, I don't want no damn pigeon food. I have no idea what he was talking about. Did you see anyone running around here? I was asleep, you know. Yeah, that seems to be all you do, buddy. Okay, well, let's ask someone at the stalls. They should know. And I actually forgot how bad the lag was in this game. Right, let's talk to this lady. Good afternoon, ma'am. Souvenir would be wonderful, however, we're here for a while. Yeah, suspicious guys. Yes, it happened to me too. Really? Fair enough. Well, how about asking the Poison Brothers? Who are the Poison Brothers? A couple of punks that hang out around here. If you want to know about some bad guys, the best thing to do... I missed that. Best thing to do is what? Ah, the, por the porridge shop at Queen Street. Okay, thank you. Thank you, souvenir lady. So, the porridge shop. It's kind of like an odd shop. It was just sell porridge, literally. It's kind of weird. I mean, I like porridge for breakfast, but damn. Ask the Poison Bros. Poison Bros are at the porridge shop. The porridge shop is on Queen Street. Well, we know where Queen Street is. So, let's make our way over. And I do love the way in this game you can save it anywhere. It's so handy. Queen Street. Now, I kind of understand why they didn't do it in the first game. Uh, because it was a much smaller world. More detailed more detail to be sure they have cut some corners here however they were pushing the dreamcast to its limit man and Ryu's character model just still to this day looks fantastic <gasps> want to play a game of lucky hit oh no no we won't we don't want to play a game of lucky hit because i have a feeling that we'll be doing a lot of that later here's the porridge shop Oh, a couple of punks. Excuse me. I'd like to ask you something. Bro, some kids talking to us. I haven't seen you around here. I had my bag stolen. A bag? Who cares? There are four of them. One of them was a little kid. Do you know them? I said I don't know. Scram. 
How are you? Wait, do you think you can just ask and then just leave? Well, yeah, kind of. Yeah, we're having a nice little drink here till you came. You aren't leaving already, are you? Like bro says, you can't leave without paying. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, some money. No way. Then we're going to show you how things are done in Aberdeen. Ah, look at this punk. Oh, hello. Cut it out, guys. Joy! Everybody knows Joy. Yeah, piss off, you two. What? <laughs> what kind of monster? Wong, huh? Pigeon bark, eh? Right, let's go get a bag back, Ryu. He never stops to think. Look at Joy, talking like she knows us. Get out of here. Now, those guys were showing us how it's done in Aberdeen. Now, I don't know much about Hong Kong, but the uh, Aberdeen we have attached to this aisle, it's kind of an interesting place. Ah, Scotland. I want to go to Scotland this year. I've always planned a trip to Scotland. Got to be done. It's a great place. Right, let's go see if we can track down Wong. Little gobsheen. Find out where our bag is with all of our money. It's kind of cracking on a bit as well. It's getting late. Yes, this is uh, Pigeon Park, Ryu. You're absolutely right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Now, if I was a Wong, where would I be hiding? Hmm. No Wongs around here, that's for sure. Well, let's go once around the fountain. Hey, didn't even have to go all the way around. Man, there's so much loading. There's a little punk. Come on, Ryu. It's time to kick an ass or two. <laughs> huh? There he is. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Right, you little shit. <laughs> I love that shot of Ryu just, just legging it at full speed towards him. It's funny as hell. Oh, nice, nice. Mar the old marble trick, huh? Uh oh, bollocks. Sorry, love. It's okay, go after him. Hey! He's obviously known for it around here. Jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. Up and over! Oh my god! How did I manage to save that? I have no idea. Nice try, buddy. Oh shit. Sorry, bud. It's okay, it's only your back. Oh no, and most of your organs. Come on, Ryu, let's do this. We can still do, we can't do this. Ass. Now, bugger. I have a feeling that we're gonna have to wait till the next day now before we can try and capture him again. I think. That was disappointing. Lost sight of Wong. Must find him again. Hmm. Bugger. Okay. So do we have to go back here? To be honest, I'm not sure. You know, there is something that we could do. We could load the game and try that again. I am fairly certain, though. That you only get one shot at that, from what I can remember. Alright, you. Spill the beans. Do you know where our buddy 
Wong's gone. She obviously doesn't. What about this? This little kid, he must know. Hey, buddy. You haven't? God damn it. Okay. Now, we could go ask Joy, but we don't really know Joy. Uh, we don't know where she hangs out yet. So, I guess we don't. Hmm. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, if you push B, you can actually place down markers on the map, which is kind of useful. Can we go in here? Let's go see if anyone in here knows anything about a boy named Wong. Swing, eh? Okay, I don't think I've ever been in this shop, to be honest. I was wondering as I walked up to it if we could actually go inside. Oh, I guess... Oh, hello. This place is pretty, pretty damn interesting. Hello. Afternoon, miss. Yes, Wong. Where did he go? Hiding somewhere around here. Hmm. Somewhere behind here a lot. Shop called the Lali Lai Eatery. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go to the eatery. Where the hell is the eatery? Behind here, you say. Now, I have a feeling that she might be referencing the side passage that we tried to go down earlier. I am annoyed that we, we failed that QTE. Um, I believe if you actually catch him there, uh, the game plays out a little bit different. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Like I said, I've only played through this game about twice. Anyway, let's go down here. Because I know you have to confront them down here at some point. And my memory is telling me the little shite's going to be here. Although it might only be certain times. Yeah, bugger. Okay. Hmm. Where is Wong? By Lala Eatery. Haha. -ha. Well, okay. Let's try and find this place. If only there were... On the map, if only it actually told you the shop names. That would be pretty cool. Right. Foo Hot Diner. Oh, okay. Cutscene. I guess he's around here somewhere. Aha! Found him. Right, you bastard. You're mine this time. Famous last words. This is good. You owe that Japanese... Ooh. Hey, you bastards. I'm spending my money. Nice. Right. Let's do this thing. Concentrate, concentrate. Oh, smooth, Ryu. Smooth. Come on, you git. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's some parkour action. I hope you broke your back. No, well, unfortunately not. Cool Z. Right, let's do some damage, Ryu. Yeah, he's not so confident now, are you? You love your bag that much. Well, kind of. It does have all my stuff in it. Oh, Christ, it's actually a free battle. That's interesting. I thought this was a QTE. Now, the trouble is... Uh, I haven't actually fought for ages. I don't even know what the buttons are. Right. They are... Oh, they've changed B to grab. Grab used to be Y. Okay, so kick moves are still A. That's good. There we go. Now, all the training as well that we did in the first game, I... Oh, hello. Look at the arsehole on this guy. There we go. Some of the moves are also different. Um, there is a move list somewhere, if I can remember where. Uh, and you'll notice a lot of the moves are kind of combined. It's a bit weird. Well, that's easy. There's only two of them. Yeah, get out of here. 
You're hurting me. No shit. Give me my bag back. Yeah, that's more like it. Alrighty then. Let's go grab a bag. Yeah, there's a lot of moves uh, you can buy in this game. Uh, there's a lot more moves. Um, they're scattered around in the pawn shops. Uh, I don't think any of them are really that essential. I don't think I've really brought any of them, to be honest. Follow me this way. Now, this is a new mechanic in Shenmue 2. If you go into first person... Basically, uh, if you're looking for some, uh, some particular place, you can ask a member of the public. And... Um, they most well not all of them some some of them will tell you they don't know where it is but some of them will show you where the uh, places that you're looking for and if you go into first person mode uh, and look at that person you'll kind of do this automatic follow thing which is cool but it is actually very very slow most people just slowly dawdle towards the location you need to go to and it can take a long time now Wong here is actually running. This is the fastest you'll ever see this happen. But it is a cool idea. It's um, yeah, it's kind of unique. Bit of a godsend as well because, like I've said before, this game is massive in comparison. Come on, Wong, buddy. We have a good all day. At least now we're gonna get our bag. Oh no, actually. Now, I'm not going to say, because I'm not sure, but I think the bag is here. I wonder if you could actually find your bag, if you know where it is. Yeah, thought as much. All of our money's gone. Spent the money gambling. You what? Bugger. Well, <laughs> well then. Well, you better get familiar, buddy. Green Market Quarter, come over guest house. Okay. The little bastards. Surprised he didn't take the pen too. Other side of King's Road, eh? Ryu, to be honest, buddy, I think you uh, let him off way too lightly. I mean, that was some serious dough they nicked. Right, so where are we? Aberdeen. We've got to go over King's Road through Wong, Tra uh, Wong Chai. Eh, I think that's roughly not very clear at all, to be honest. Okay. So, do we literally have no money at all now? Got my bag back, but my money was stolen. Fine, come over guest house in Green Market Quarter. Really? They took every... They did as well. Every bloody penny. Gits. Well, this being a Shenmue game, that can only mean one thing. We need to find a job. However, we'll do that a little bit later. We need to get out of here. Now, one tactic a lot of people do... Um, with this game is they actually spend all of their money on junk before it gets stolen uh, before your bag gets stolen which thinking about it hindsight being 2020 and all that's actually not a bad idea because you can buy loads of capsule toys uh, which you can then technically sell later on in the game and you can get your money back so yeah yeah I guess if I ever run this game again for instance if they bring out a HD remake yeah, it's not a bad idea. I'll have to keep that in mind. Right, so it's Queen Street. Right, let's have a look at Wong's map. Uh, we're on Queen Street. We need to find King's Road. One Chai's up here. Out of the way, kid. 
We have a mission to do. A murder to commit. I hope you're not thirsty or hungry, Ryu, because you're kind of shit out of luck. I like the design of this place. It's very cool. Ah, here we go. This looks more like it. So, King King's Road. And just take a look at this place, guys. you got to remember, this game came out in 2000... Is it? Yeah, 2000, I think. The first one was technically 1999. This predates GTA 3 by a fair oh, click. Yes, it is, buddy. This is very impressive stuff. I think the Dreamcast could handle GTA 3. I mean, sure, it might not have been as pretty as the PS2 version, but it could have done it. Green Market Quarter. Ah, oh, the man, the music as well. So so superb it blows my mind that these games haven't been remade I literally like all the rubbish that's been rehashed in HD and this hasn't unreal I should check this place out yes Ryu that's kind of the only lead we have buddy we have to check that place out now yeah Christ I've forgotten how big this place is it's very easy to get lost as well. And there's a hell of a lot to see. Good taste. Good taste grocery. Well, well that's kind of good. Wouldn't want it to say crap taste uh, grocery, would you? Yeah, still looking. <laughs> Not you again. Yeah, Ryu's not interested. <laughs> Maybe. Why? Bugger. So we don't have anywhere to stay for free. Our camp out. Really? Okay. Really? <laughs> Ree's off. He doesn't care. There's something about Joy I can't quite put my finger on it, but I find her really irritating. I don't know why. Ah, it looks like it's transitioning to night time. Beautiful lighting. Alright. You know, this game still does look very good. Right, the come over guest house is literally like down here. Is that... Yamano. Yamano sushi. I ain't like... Ugh. No. Can't do fish. If it's from the sea, it's not from me, man. Right. Uh, is this the... Com That's not it, is it? I've got to try and remember now. Now, it's kind of interesting, this come over guest house. There it is. Now, we can stay here for as long as we want for free. Or you can choose to pay. Um, I don't, I, as far as I know, there's no penalty for not paying. Welcome, thank you. Hang on, this is not the come over guest house. Okay, sorry, uh, we'll just be leaving. Ryu, what are you doing? Here we are. And she's back again. Yeah. Alright, I've only just got here. Well, no, not really. Really? Really? 
Hey, and some cash. That's more like it. Eight in the morning, huh? Okay. Now, there's a good few ways to make money in this game. Eight o'clock. Now, we can... Yeah, there's a couple of jobs you can get. You can also gamble, which is a bit dodgy, to say the least. Uh, there's plenty of stools you can hang around at as well and earn money that way. But again, yeah, I'll explain it more when we get there. It's not as straightforward as it seems. For instance, it's very easy to lose money doing those jobs. I know. The hell's this loser? So it seems. Oh god, this is dodgy. Yes. Hmm. Joy seems to be a pretty big wheel around here. Well, we can use that to our advantage. You don't want to stay in this dump for too long. It's dodgy as hell, man. 203, here we are. Yes, Ryu, that's definitely the room, buddy. There you go. Right. I wouldn't trust this place. Roaches would be the least of your troubles. God, I still think Ryu's model looks amazingly good. <clears throat> Considering this is what? 15... Okay, about 14 years old this game is, something like that. Anyway, guys, I think we're coming up to half an hour. Um, my phone has died, so I can't tell for sure. But uh, when we come back, we are going to go get a job and hopefully earn some money. To be honest, I can't remember the job. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I think we have to go carry some boxes, which is actually one of the only legitimate jobs in the game. Uh, and by legitimate, I mean it's one of the only jobs in the game where you can actually reliably make money. Um, as I've said before, you can get jobs on market stools. However, the way it works is the market stool bloke... Well, it's not a market stool, it's a lucky hit gambling game. The market... Well, the bloke will give you money. Um, and if you lose money, if you lose too much money, you have to pay it back. Um, however, if you win money, you obviously, you know, get to keep it, but it's, it's a hell of a gamble. Um, and obviously there's a lot of gambling as well, which obviously is not, <laughs> not really a good way of making money because it can go horribly wrong, horribly fast. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. When we come back, it's time to go to work.